Hey guys, Fuller again with Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. You guys asked for two things, a lift kit video and for me to slow down. So here we go. So one of the common questions we get is what's the difference between a lift kit and a leveling kit? Although they both you lift up the front of your truck, a lift kit has more components that replaces your factory components to bring that front up and it also includes something in the rear, usually a block to lift up the back as well. Whereas a leveling kit is just going to lift up the front and reutilize your stock components. So when it comes to lift kits, if you get your six inch lift and you go to measure the block in the rear and you say, it's only four and a half inches, I ordered a six. Well, the trucks have factory rake, which means the back is higher than the front. So they only give you that four and a half inch block in the rear so that it does level your truck overall. So myth number two is that once you lift your truck, if you want to sell it or something like that, you could just go back to stock and that's simply not the case. A lot of times if you lift up your truck, it involves a lot of cutting and that means you can't put those stock components back in place unless you were to weld them in and that's going to ruin some of the structural integrity. As well as if you throw away your stock blocks and stock shocks, you're not able to use the new components from the lift in a stock height vehicle. Morning Taylor. Morning. So myth number three is that if you buy a lift kit, you're going to instantly void your warranty. Well, that's not the case. A lot of companies like BDS actually have a team of lawyers on staff to fight those claims because it's actually a law that a manufacturer can't void your warranty based on aftermarket parts. And if you want to read that mumbo jumbo, you can pause the video and watch that here. Otherwise, back to the video. So myth number four is that you're going to buy a lift kit, install it, and then go run the Baja 1000. That's not quite true. But if you do, go ahead and film that and send it to us. So lift kits will allow you to fit a larger wheel and tire and do give you more ground clearance, but they're not necessarily designed for extreme off-road purposes. So in addition to that, the shocks that come standard with most kits aren't designed to be jumping dunes. Hey Eric. Oh hey, what's up guys? But you can get a kit that has complete coilovers and reservoir shocks and that whole nine yards, and that's gonna be you know, better suited for your needs. So myth number five is that if you install a lift kit, you're gonna be going through ball joints every time you drive your truck, and that's not really the case on any newer vehicles. Uh, if you do have an older truck with high miles, chances are it's going to need some maintenance anyway when you install your lift kit, but it's not directly related to that kit itself. Um, it's the wide wheels and tires that are going to eat them up faster, but like Banker here, he's got 180,000 miles on it, still OEM wheel bearings. You thought we were done? No, we got a bonus round for you. Number six, talking about body lifts. If you have questions about body lifts, well, just don't. They're not good for anything. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. That about wraps up our five things, plus one bonus, number six, uh, video for you. If you like it, make sure you like us here on Facebook, like us on YouTube, subscribe, the whole nine yards. That's it. We're out of here.